2734. The entire planet has been purged. A thorough genocidal cleansing has taken place. We who were born into this world have begun to ask questions. There are feelings of immense sadness combined with a deep, depressing void and a lack of any emotions. I believe in ancient history these feelings I'm having were called conscience. We have been taught since childhood to ignore any inner tugings, being told that those inner voices were evil, and those were just the voices of an evil man. And that these inner thoughts and emotional feelings would one day destroy our perfect world. A perfect world. I live in a world. A perfect world. Except for one major flaw. The darkest of history has been hidden and hidden extremely well. But that dark history was never taught in school, never mentioned or spoken. It was something that transpired before I was born. Everywhere and everyone was so genetically pure. I was told that I am part of the supreme race where we were taught to be thankful and strong. Now, after so many years of omission and lies, the truth is beginning to boil to the surface, and it's not smelling good. No amounts of herbs and spices could ever make this stench palatable. The truth has been exposed. Hundreds of years ago it began. First it was decided that there was no longer a need for the elderly, no use for those who were ill. They were eliminated, not sure how, but they all disappeared. Those with disabilities were hard on the economic welfare of the collective union. They definitely had to go, along with anyone deemed uneducable and anyone not meeting the highest of the standards all vanished forever. It was decided that only one nationality, one color skin, one language, one color of eyes, one hair, would be allowed to survive and thrive. One religion with no free thinkers and no diversity, for sure, no philosophers and no all poets had to go. And through an unforgiving genocidal cleansing, it was done. And here I sit. A perfect specimen, like all of the others on this God-forsaken earth. Mm. Any imperfections are definitely eliminated immediately. And I wondered, as I heard an old man declare one day, as he was being dragged away, he yelled, Why is there no emotion? What is the meaning of love? Where is this beautiful diversity? It is better that I die by your hands today so that I may join the sick and the elderly and needy, disabled souls and those who do not resemble me at all and those with diverse opinions and lifestyles and especially those that can sing a song. And since that day, I just wonder who it was that caused this terrible tragedy. And though I've been trained to ignore this evil voice inside me, I too wonder, ponder, and disbelieve and discontent. On many a sleepless night, this tiny voice requires of me what is the true meaning of a perfect world? The wounded healer. Fragmentation, I embrace you. My love, my teacher, my strength. You have you have come and raised me.